Japan, we have Maha in a similar role, not quite able to beat the guys like Wario and Kyoshiki, but putting up good results uh, just in the tier below. Yeah, so we'll see who makes top eight here. It's big, you know? This is like America versus Japan. Who's going to have one more representative in top eight? Yeah, and I know Kiro feels that he has more to prove, was talking about you know, how much he wants, wants to win the whole tournament, believes he has the skill, has put, it, put in a ton of practice, and uh, wants to try to beat Maha to get there, but Maha immediately calls out his recovery, and Kiro taking a moment to think. You can see him clapping his hands, trying to keep his hands warm here. Oh, that forwarder got him in trouble, now just up being to escape and doesn't want to rush into things and chases oh, Maha down across the that stage. That was such a big punish. Yeah, goes for that nair off the ground that he's able to combo out of. Really smart from Kiro. And that short hop to top platform. Yeah, that, that quick was movement. Tight. Yeah, that a was... lot of Pikachu players can, you know, are able to short hop to top platform, but Kiro is someone who can really apply that in the middle of the game. Moves so quickly. Yeah, you know, in that sort of situation, when you're covering Pikachu's recovery, you you, you have to make the uh, recovering Pikachu question whether you're going to ledge or not, because ledge is such a safe option for Pikachu. So he really put the pressure on Maha to go to top plat and then covered it. And usually, when you cover top plat, you're going to do it with an aerial, too, to go up there and do a grab like that for the stronger punish. That's some optimization there. That's what you get in this top net, in this uh, in this sort of qualifying match. Yeah, really smart play from Kira there. And he calls out the upbeat to ledge again. And Maha messes up the angle, tries to go for his one a little too steep, and gets nothing. Instead, Kira going for the ledge attack, but Maha that is ready, be baits yeah. it out. And these guys are looking very even. That back throw just so strong. It kills at a very low percentage, especially since Pikachu is so uh, light, such a light weight. Yeah, third lightest. And Kiro going for some full hops here. Very even game. These two are so evenly matched. So Kiro hit that up air. It knew it wasn't quite safe and jumps, waiting to punish the move. Maha will do. Maha just runs away, but that dash that pivot up to what a good tech, tech chase. chase. Yeah. Kiro is so good at these tech chases. And evading the invincibility, too. Now Kiro up a full stock. Let's see if he can capitalize on it. Dashes into the corner. Baits Maha into overextending. Oh, and he covers the uh, zip zap. Trying to punish Maha, acting off the ledge. Not quite able to do so. Maha finds this grab, so this will be the chain grabbing. Help him get a bit of damage on the board. But he needs a lot more than that. Down two socks to one here and at a higher percent. Yeah. Kiro just racking up the score, and it's going to make it really hard even if Maha does manage to find some zero death and take the stock when he's at such a percent deficit. Kiro maybe looking for a pivot up till here, doing these fast dash movements. Yeah, he's staying on the ground a lot, but Maha calling it out. Nice oh, but he gets punished. There. Maha can't really make a mistake here. He's at really high percent. Last stock. Kiro playing pretty safe, just pivoting in and walling out with uh, the backers, looking yeah. for a pivot up till yeah, kind of near the of end of percents where that'll work. A lot of K Pikachus, especially in the Ditto, like that short hop bear, like neutral, but you know, Kiro's just staying grounded so that way he can react quicker, he has more options, and he, do he can completely beat out. Like, Pikachu doesn't reach down that well. Uh, you know, up air, back air, fair, they all kind of reach either forward or above. They don't reach down or oh, just there. And so up tilt, you know, in the ditto, it's really important. So Kiro's staying grounded. Let's see if he keeps that approach or if that was just a game one thing. Uh, Kiro has a lot of options. That wasn't how we saw uh, play against Yashi, so maybe, you know, Picking his play style based on the percentage and based on how his opponent likes to approach. Yeah, and now he's going to the air much more. Maybe Walling it's out a his opponent difference. with those rising up airs. Maha finding his way in with a ton of up tilts. Oh, goes in way too hard with the fastball back air. No big punish for it though, is able to secure the ledge. Yep, and you're seeing every time that 
that up air gets shield, it's it's very dangerous. He has so little shield stun that usually the opponent can get a counter attack. Kiro playing very patiently from ledge. Oh, and then he puts the pressure Ooh, on Maha. Nice up easier from Maha. I think that up smash was probably an accident, probably meant to up tilt. Oh, Maha just dashes hits. in and finds the grab, getting the first stock. The Japanese player is here in his corner, Take, clapping politely in the background. <laughs> Kira finds an up tilt, but not able to get anything more. And he oh. just runs across. Maha was trying to keep that distance spacing, poking with aerials. And Kiro immediately interrupts it, but Kiro getting so aggressive with these short hop downers. Oh, pivots nice past pivot. him. That yeah. was really slick from Maha. Dash pivot up tilt behind Kiro to get that big grab. Of course, it's a lot stronger if you get a grab. I really liked his spacing too on that back air. Oh, but the, he gets the soft hit that time. And Kiro, because of that, is back to ledge. Although, Kiro is down a full stock at this point, so he's got a lot of work to do. He's going to need more than just a miracle recovery to win this game for him. Yeah, Maha knows a back air will kill, and it's just really fishing for one. If he can catch Kiro trying to do a rising aerial, use just one of these rising back airs to beat it. There won't yeah. be a whole lot Kiro can do, and he'll just die immediately. They're both staying very grounded this now. So Kiro trying to do these rising up airs as a counter. Maha oh, finds the up hits. tilt, uses down B, but uh, that doesn't quite kill yet. It just returns right back to doing the back airs. I think he accidentally full hop there. And he got Kiro punished for it. pivots then, behind him with yeah. the grab to secure the stock. Flashy that was really stuff. smart. Both these guys so quick with those pivots when they need to be. Hero showing that patience on the ledge that we've seen from him throughout the tournament. This is a guy oh that's God. not going to rush into things. Kira, are you ever going to get off the ledge? Yeah, he wants patience. He's waiting for an opening here, and his patience is rewarded. He's able to inch his way back on, but Maha mm. catches him on the ground. Three stocks to two. And Kiro, Kiro goes to top taking plat. top platform, but Maha punishing him for it. Yeah, top plat, pretty reasonable. Uh, yeah, it's just that that up there is just so good at uh, you know fighting people above you. It's, yeah, the thing is though, when you're at zero percent, uh, it doesn't the, do much. The up air doesn't do a whole lot, and so it becomes safer to be above Pikachu. And Kira so likes to use that, you know, when he's at low percent. Now that he's at high percent, you probably won't see him doing that. Instead, he's just stuck in the corner. Oh, good zip zap gets out of the corner though. Oh, but he's just, it, I feel like he keeps getting back to neutral and then just, oh, here we go. Maha, Ooh, that was wow. a ledge cancel. Nice ledge cancel there. And Kira finds an up tilt though, knows not to push for any more. Does the short hop to top platform again for the back throw. Yeah. Really flashy. Maha recognizing that Kiro is not going to ledge very often, zipping to ledge. And that's a back throw, that'll do it. And it's Maha, two stock lead here. You know, after losing game one, he's uh, made quite the resurgence here. Yeah, making some adjustments. Who runs in with that rising fair. Powerful offensive 20, gets the grab. This is huge for Maha. Just building up that initial percent that unlocks all Pikachu's moves. Like we were talking about the up air not being effective against yeah, Pikachu now, above. So even though Maha lost that stock. Yeah, the fact that now he, up air will chain into more up airs makes Pikachu a much more threatening character. Yeah, exactly. And so Kiro can't fight too effectively on the top platform. Has to stay on the ground where Maha has been winning so far. And nice tech chase there from Kiro. Walks yep. up to him. Maha forced to go high, and Kiro gonna get a bit more damage. Tries to go for a, a late up air into back air combo, but just sends him a little too far. Yeah, really close game actually. Kiro could do this. He just needs to, you know, close out this stock. Yeah, Kiro working That's his way back into the game, no, finds that quite. back throw, won't quite kill. 
66%, you know, not a terrible percent. Not really anything that's going to kill you there. Yeah, you know, y'all are going to have to combo into a bit. Very patient play from both these guys. They're down to two minutes on the timer. Maha jumps in with that full hop fastball back here. Something we also see from Nax, but dead. Kiro with the jab grab. And with two minutes left, Kiro evens up the stock count. Maha with a big percent lead, but we've seen just how good Kiro's combo game is. Wonder, I wonder what Kiro's waiting for. Maybe he's waiting for that. Maha getting a little uh, impatient, letting the forward smash rip. Like we were saying before, it just lasts so long, it, it's really punishable. And that's not gonna kill, oh my gosh. Yeah, nice that, recovery there, in. fakes like he's going to side platform. But gets anti-air, trying to go for the top. Oh, and and Maha, nice coverage of the ledge. Brings the set to an even one to one. Oh my god. This is such an intense set. Both these guys really giving their all, fighting for that spot on the big stage. Yeah, I'm surprised they went right into it. You know, after such a long game, you so, feel so drained, right? But yeah, I would. They, they are, you know, they don't need any breaks, apparently. Oh, the uh, forward air unsafe. Just little tit for tat so far. They they are such patient players. Like last game almost went to time. This game, it, I don't feel like we're gonna see a change in play styles really from that. Yeah, Kiro did uh did actually have a game go to time, although he lost it against Isaiah. Uh, that was in the Pikachu Ditto. It's quite rare to see a Pikachu Ditto go to time, but you know Kiro is a bit on the slower side. He is a very careful player that doesn't like to go in in uh, situations that require kind of a guess or where the opponent might be able to have a strong defensive option. He I likes just to just wait and find something guaranteed before he goes in. I feel like Kiro's definitely the type of player that changes his play style based on the stakes. You know, in like a smaller tournament, he's totally okay with just face it, pushing yeah, just his running face over into his the opponent. opponent. Yeah. yeah, but like in a set like this, we're seeing him play as patiently and as carefully as possible. And in a matchup like this where, uh, you know, zero to deaths, full combos are kind of rare, you, you are going to see a lot of neutral in this matchup. And Kira very respectful there, just allows Maha to get on stage from the ledge. Maybe not confident in that situation. Maha has been really good at getting off the ledge so far. Yeah. Nice the fastball back here to get another edge guarding situation and nice call out. Both players have been able to go to the ledge pretty safely so far. Yeah. Kiro changes that with that back here. And Kiro just uh, not getting really touched that much of it so far in that first stock. Oh, the, I thought for sure he was going to get an opening off that, but just too low percent. Oh my gosh, here we go. Really racking some damage, cornering Maha here. Yeah, this clean ground movement here from Kiro, but. Ooh, Maha jumps in with the down air, but he isn't ready for Kiro's slide off on the side platform. Yeah, when you slide off the platform, you just exit hit stun, so it can be a great opportunity for a ca counter attack. Oh, nice That's tech fix here. Kill. No, not quite. Kiro techs in and gets grabbed. And the ledge cancel gets him in back, but good stuff from Maha, really not letting Kiro escape here. Yeah, so Kiro. Uh, got the ledge cancel there and ended up holding shield on the edge of side platform. And when someone's doing that, the uh, the forward air is so strong, pushes them off the side platform and then carries them in. Oh, the triple? Triple chain oh, the grab and he just stood ball. still. Yeah, Maha just waits for him to land, somehow knowing the attack wouldn't hit. And Maha taking a bit of a lead now. Yeah, that's actually pretty crazy. Kiro taking a second. Figuring out his movement. Yeah, you know, it's kind of funny. We're not seeing so much approaches. Like, usually when you're talking about an approach in Smash, you're talking about like overshooting, really going in. We're not seeing any of that, really. We're seeing a lot of like Street Fighter type neutral where they're just like 
very patiently pushing each other to the corner. Yeah, trying to get someone to throw out a move that whiffs. Yeah, whiff punishing, exactly. Exactly, yeah. That sort of fighting game style that these guys are both so capable of doing. Just being very disciplined here. They know the stakes. One to one with two stocks each. They seem oh, very oh, even in skill. Some nice crazy. offense here from Kiro. Pushing him into the corner, but just barely missing the tech chase. But Ma now he's got that really important 40%, uh, you know? Now all his moves are turned on. Anything will lead into something else. Oh, like that. Double. Yeah, exactly. The double up airs pushing him into the corner into the up tilt tech chase. Kiro is so good at that. He's going to hit it every time. And he knows even when he hits that second up air that it's a guaranteed tech chase. Yeah. Really, really still very close, though. Yeah, and you can see Kiro using the top platform a little bit. Maha. Oh my just god. Throwing out every balls. aerial he has. They're playing so carefully. Holy trying crap. to find his way in. Kiro Up with the jab, jab grab on top grab, plat. Yeah. Good shield pressure from Kiro, but oh my god, the Magda hands. Goodbye. Maha. Maha finds the grab and he waits for Wispy to blow him back a little bit to make sure the grab goes as far as possible. Smart stuff. Yeah, and but Kiro getting back all the way to the other side of the stage, the zip zap, so powerful. And, you know, Kiro's got such a solid lead, again, at that 40%, like we were talking about, where, like, Pikachu just suddenly turns into this monster character that can destroy you. He goes from just hitting you with a funny bat to now he's hitting you with a real bat. <laughs> yeah, no sound effects on that one. <laughs> like these guys just so careful and neutral. They like to space pretty far away. The Kiro dash finds attack? an up air and gets a tech chase. Maha with these great up B snaps the ledge, but oh. he misses. Underestimates the distance. Yep. 2-1 Kiro. Maha's got to make some sort of adjustment this game four here. Yeah, Kiro takes that game, playing extremely solidly and just never letting Maha get any opening. Yeah, I feel like uh, Kiro's just like playing very reactionary, you know? He's not, neither of them are really committing to an option very early, but I feel like Kiro's not committing at all. Yeah, He's Kiro just with the strong ready. edge guarding as well. We do have almost every Japanese player at the venue here watching. All of Maha's friends cheering him on, hoping to see him come back live here in this fourth game. Nice hits that falling up here, goes for the back throw and somehow gets the chain grab. Yeah. Way outside of chain grab presents Kiro, maybe not ready for it. Oh. And Maha with a big combo. An Although amazing I, zip zaps too. Yeah, I feel like he could have gone for maybe one more up air there. Ends it a little early. And uh, yeah. Yeah, the Japanese players in the Pikachu Ditto, not quite as confident in the long combos. Well, it's also like they're they're not at the on their home version, you know. Maybe there's a little bit of anxiousness that I don't want to push a combo too far because they these American players with their crazy DI can make anything happen, you know. I wonder if that's part of it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely a tough position there. Finds the up tilt. Wow, did that's he cancel really good. that? Dashes to the edge, canceled it with an up air, up tilt. So smart there from Kiro, but still not quite able to take the stock. Oh my gosh. This neutral right now, Kiro just playing so patiently, saying, I got this up air here, you can't approach me. But so close right now. Almost two minutes gone and not a single stock taken. Oh, he gets back to stage and just lands it there. Maha got shook, I think, by that sudden approach. Oh, but yeah, a little bit slow on the chase Kiro was and Maha capitalizes, gets that back throw. Up a stock, but definitely not by a full one. Just a little bit of, just one solid hit. That's, yep, that'll do it. Yeah, Kiro uses that smart full hop. Fast fall bear can be very difficult to deal with if you're expecting that short hop neutral. Suddenly your opponent full hops and they have a lot more range of aerial drift that you have to deal with. It can be hard to avoid. 
nice nair from ledge there from Kiro, forcing his way back on stage and securing a small lead in percentage. Oh, that pivot up tilt. Nothing doing though, not, be, not able to push it any further. Now, honestly, both of these characters are at the dangerous percent, but the up smash, that'll do it. Ooh, Kiro finds that up air to up smash and just goes for the pivot down B, securing that kill. Maha potentially. Wow, nice wow. combo here from Kiro with the runoff Nair. What and he an keeps explosive. it going, turns around to continue the tech chase. And Kiro looking like he wants to secure that final top eight spot. Maha getting the jab grab. Three stocks to one. Maha's got to make a miracle happen here. Yeah, Maha needs a good edge guard here. The That'll fastball do down air on the shield into grab will secure it. Maha cutting the lead a little bit, but he is potentially on his final stock here. What can he do? Needs to find some percent quickly before Kiro can build up too much and make that last stock situation yeah. possible. Pivots. Oh. Kiro finding a single up air, not gonna do a lot of damage off that. You can yeah. see how much Kiro likes to use the top platform. Definitely at that zero percent, yeah, just like we were saying. And using some DI to escape. Kiro not willing to go in with the downer because Maha has been Ooh. so good at up tilting against it. Finds one grab. Maha the just runs in and gets a grab both of his of own. These guys all like they 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 decided they played enough neutral. Time to go in for the grab. Yeah, but at that percent, it's hard to get a whole lot out of it. Yeah. And we're back to this. Both these guys being so up careful. Tilts. Oh. That up air and off the ground, kind of safer than throwing out an up tilt. We've seen Kiro use it a lot this game to good success. Maha finds an up air, but not able to get the tech chase. And oh both of them the doing those up airs. from these guys. They're right outside the range. Yeah, they understand the stakes here. Both of them don't want to make good a mistake. Grab. Maha finds the grab. Can he get the edge guard? No, Kiro goes just a little bit too oh, low and gets zap. the ledge. Maha also goes to the ledge. Finds oh, the up tilt. Is that gonna be? No way, he reversed it. Yeah, I didn't want that reverse. Calls him out on top platform with the Nair. This is so close and right now. Goes for a hard Anybody's beat game. to go to top, but he gets the grab. Anybody's and this is last here. stock. Maha fighting for his life. Oh my god. This is so tense. Kiro has Maha in the corner, but he's just not playing aggressive. He's not going to overcommit, even when he has a slightly advantage situation. Yeah, you he's know. He's just going to play patient. It, it, we haven't seen that many. Uh, big combos this set, but this matchup does have the potential to do that. Kiro hits the up tilt, not able to convert into bear, and somehow Maha secures himself, finds that down air. Oh. Down air from Kiro to the ledge, puts Maha in a bad position again, but Kiro just not looking to press an advantage, forcing yeah. Maha to come to him over and over. Both, both these players playing so safe. Last stock, this game four, if Kiro wins, he takes the set and makes top eight. He's so close. All he needs is a grab, and he knows it. Just reaching, staying right side out, side out, <laughs> right outside of aerial range. In front of them. Oh yeah. my God. Kiro's been so close to getting a grab. Knows that'll secure his spot in top eight. He goes for it again. Oh, oh. This is so tense. Oh my God. Maha does not want to get grabbed. Oh, and Kiro goes for an up smash. Maha not even dashing a away. On it. Oh my god, the nerves must be off the charts right now. Yeah, Kyo switching it up, throwing out Adrenaline. some aerials, but he knows he wants this grab so much. Oh my god. It's all he's looking for, and Maha just does not want to give it to him. If Maha lands like a good up tilt too, it's, it could be really bad for Kira. Yeah, but the thing oh, is, that's well, it, that's, Kiro gets the back oh, up, but nothing. Maha misses the tech chase. Oh my that god. Crucial tech chase. Forced into the air, uses his I double jump. I thought for sure that was going to be a punish. Kiro oh lets him God, down. The spacing. Goes for these down airs, but it is risky. <laughs> Maha oh, forced off, off the stage. Oh my God. But Kiro the just corner. not punishing it. Dude, he's not willing to but he runs other. in. Gets the grab. Hey. Maha <laughs> finally <laughs> dies. Kiro secures his spot in top eight. Oh my God. Such incredible patience there from Kiro. That was such a good set. Oh my God, did anybody catch how much time was left on that timer? I think Kira about, two, think about playing, two minutes. Kira playing so patiently, both of them playing so patiently. That was incredible. 
really well played there from Kiro. Secures that spot.